Hey guys, Unfrequented World, and today I wanted to show you a new uh, photo bag that I purchased off of Amazon to replace a five-year-old Low Pro Trekker bag that I had. And this one that I bought is just the Amazon Basics. So I wanted to show you guys, compare it to the original one before I get rid of it. It has a blown zipper, finally gave out after five years. And I just want to give you my thoughts on how it feels, what I paid for it, and is it a good purchase? Okay, there's the two bags side by side, guys. Here's the uh, five-year-old, six-year-old Low Pro Trekker. And uh, this bag has served me well for many years, but it has a flaw in the design that these side zippers, they are kind of uh, enclosed in a flap to keep the water out. And what happens is unless you open them all the way every time when you open the lid, they, uh, they get pulled on. The zippers get pulled on. And this back zipper here finally uh, blew itself out. And I made do with it for as long as I could. But it's just, it is finished. So it's kind of a poor design the way that these uh, zippers should go around behind. If the zippers went a little further in behind to here, say, and then when you open the bag, you wouldn't have that problem where they're getting pulled on. So... Uh, let's just compare the new bag uh, to the old one. It's actually a little bit smaller in size, which I didn't realize when I bought it. I thought they were the same size. But if we open it up, I transferred everything from my bag that was in here is now in here. And uh, I had to kind of make my own. Uh, I pieced together, it came with six of these little individual uh, Velcro pads in between and two long ones and normally they come they're set up this way So you drop a camera in and some lenses down the side um, To get both of my DSLRs. This is a Sony a 77 So that's an APS-C camera with a pretty big lens a 7200 Sigma on there And this is a Sony e-mount lens with an adapter uh, That's the a 7 r 3 with an a mount 7300 on it okay so that's for your size reference everything from this bag did fit in here but it's a lot tighter so I had to make my own strips here out of six individual little pieces which came with the bag no problem there I still have the two long ones which I'm not using they're down here on the floor I save all of these for when I you know pack stuff in other bags and whatever um, and it came with these straps to help hold you put it over the top to help hold it together. So what I'm going to note right off the bat for you guys is the Velcro is not as uh, sticky as it is in the old bag. Um, five plus years of use and you when you pull a piece of Velcro out of here, it was really stuck. This one, uh, it sticks, but not so much. You can see right here, look, it's already pulling off, pulling apart right here and right here so I mean you can just restick them in there but it's it's not as sticky uh, the second thing I noticed right off the bat is the sidewall if we look at the thickness um, you've got you know not even a finger thickness of padding on the side so it feels not as protected as the old bag I'm sure there's lots of padding there but the old bag if you look at the padding it's more it is more than a finger's width of padding. So you're getting half again as much padding with the checker. Now, keep in mind, this bag was $40. This bag was $120 some dollars when I bought it years ago. Um, you've got the same amount of space in the top. We've got two zippered areas. The outside of this bag has a, a zippered pouch here, which I keep my strap, my shoulder strap in. And then there's another zippered area in here where you can put in all, you know, if you had more filters and things like that, which I'm not even using. So, uh, and it's pretty much the same on the old bag. Uh, zippered flap here for your filters and things. And, and then another pouch down below. So it was just a little bit different. But So this bag here actually is holding everything that the old bag was, but it's very tight. So when I put this blower on top here, it's literally sitting on top. And I didn't actually have room for the batteries inside of here. Where I had to put them on this bag is one battery on the outside. Uh, the Amazon bag has a pouch on each outside. So I've got a battery for each camera on the outside. 
So it is a couple inches shorter this way, and but it will hold everything that the old bag was holding. So if we talk about comfort, the straps on the Amazon bag actually have a lot more padding than the straps on the Low Pro. The Low Pro were not that comfortable. The padding on the back of the bag, actually there's twice as much padding on the back of the Amazon bag as there is in the Low Pro. So when it comes to comfort, this bag actually wins. Um, I've only worn it around the house here for 20 minutes, but it's got a full uh, waist strap, which is really nice to take the weight off your shoulders. It has a chest strap as well, which I had to uh, make some adjustments to make it more comfortable, but fully adjustable, and this bag is actually more comfortable to wear than that bag was. So the Low Pro Trekker actually has a waterproof um, bag inside that you could pull it out when it rains and cover the whole bag and protect it. This one doesn't have anything like that. So you also notice that there's no pouch, uh, tripod pouch on this one. So there are straps on the side. You could stick a tripod in the side. It's just a matter of being creative how you want to do it. Um, overall, I haven't used it long enough to say how it's going to last, but I mean it's got the 600 nylon waterproof, the same material it feels like on both bags. I would say that this bag feels, you know, 85-90% the quality of this bag. Let's make a note on this guys, the zippers. So when we open this one, look, they come around behind. So when you open it and you open both zippers all the way, then you lift this, it's not pulling on the zippers. They're they're out of the way. If you open, just make sure you open them all the way, and then the lid. You should never have a zipper failure like we did on this bag. So just a final note here. I have a lot of gear in this bag, guys. So we've got two DSLRs. We've got two full big lenses, 7200, 7300. We've got a Rokinon 14 millimeter, which is not a small lens in the middle. We've got a 2875, which is not a small lens here. And then this one has all the caps because I have adapters and so you always end up with a lot of caps. That's what's in there. But you could put another lens in there. So overall guys, this is not a bad bag for size. So I'm just out in the field today uh, doing some Canadian color footage, photos. And I'm trying out the new bag, and it is working fantastic. Loving it so far. So the Amazon bag, uh, the selling feature, the main selling feature of that, guys, is the price. So for one-third the price of the Low Pro bag, you're getting the quality that, in my initial assessment here, is probably you know, in the 80 to 90% range of what that other bag is. It's the same tough material, seems to be uh, the same type of workmanship. The stitching is good, the zippers are good, uh, feels pretty solid. Um, only time will tell guys so I will update this video in six months and let you know how the bag is holding up but my original assessment here is that for a very good price uh, you can get a solid bag in the Amazon Basics uh, photography bag thanks for watching